Statistics show that Americans spend more on alternative than on conventional treatments. Statistics show that 90% of Taiwanese cancer patients will choose alternative treatment in addition to conventional surgery and chemotherapy. National Taiwan University Hospital provides inquiry for herbal and traditional treatments. One patient came for treatment, for example, for chemotherapy. You would find out that one chemotherapy would result in a decreasing of T lymphocyte activity, which might recover after resting. T lymphocyte activity decreased lower after the second treatment and slowly recovered again. Obviously, it decreased even lower after the third treatment. Therefore, repeatedly undertaking chemotherapy would result in damaging on T lymphocyte very badly. In fact, chemotherapy could treat cancer, but could damage your immune system as well. Oncologists looked at bad cells instead of good cells. Destructive methods are mostly applied by oncologists. Chemotherapy, surgery, and radiation therapy are destructive, which cause damage to many patients. One of the disadvantages of conventional cancer treatments is violently destructing cancer cells and normal cells. Strongly recommended to you is a way to kill cancer cells without harming normal cells. Cancer treatments among conventional medical field, in fact, are facing many inadequacies. We are in need of integration in many ways, which might be the greatest difficulty of all. Complementary and alternative, CAM, is the forthcoming trend in cancer treatment. And many developed countries have tried to catch up. In addition to conventional methods, they hope to find another way to have satisfactory cancer survival rate. Nowadays, conventional treatments can be said to have encountered the bottleneck. Utilizing the so-called TCM, or traditional medicine with conventional medicine, is the integrative and complementary medicine. Alternative medicine is another branch of medicine that might complementary or increase the effectiveness of the treatment. Among CAM, TCM stands for an important role, especially in the treatment of cancer. Recently, in Japan, among cancer treatments, TCM is frequently applied. Most Chinese herbal mixtures can increase immunity or boost up patients' energy or may have some effects if such mixtures were used to complementarily treat cancer. It might have some help. Now, our lab analysis discovered many evidences if herbal medicine was integrated to conventional medicine. In fact, efficacy could be increased. For example, increasing the effect of chemotherapy and radiation therapy. We gathered sufficient evidence from our lab analysis because herbal medicine presents the effect of multiple molecular targeting. Therefore, it has anti-cancer function. When used together with radiation and chemotherapy, it might achieve an amplifying effect. As a result, integration of herbal medicine and conventional treatment is a promising method in the future. Speaking of the CAM in Japan, and the integration of many treatments, TCM is the most common treatment in addition to conventional treatment. In the year 2002, the Ministry of Health in Thailand has uh, uh, established a new department of complementary and alternative medicine as an alternative uh, treatment for uh, pension, including the cancer patients. And the alternative medicine it has a uh, less uh, uh, cost and inexpensive and less side effect. The inti integration of the uh, complementary or alternative medicine to the conventional medicine require academic standardization and research to optimize such treatment with the current uh, conventional medical treatment for cancer patients. 
CAM is originated from the U.S. and has developed quickly. Americans are into the research of our ancestors' invention, herbal medicine. Indeed, we started this research in a slower pace. Therefore, we hope to call upon that not only the request from patients and their family, but also the consideration from our government. I think, most importantly, medical professions could value CAM. I think to develop CAM is to start from the search for the basic theory from the laboratory, animal experiment, and clinical trial. Then, I can foresee in the future, CAM can be vigorously developed in Taiwan. Proving that whether herbal medicine has anti-cancer effect can be applied through the latest multiple molecular targeting technical platform, of which PPAR Gamma is able to identify whether this herbal medicine is capable of decreasing fat, blood sugar, inflammation, or anti-cancer. One meaningful index can be referred to prove your treatment on increasing your immunity. Such examining method for many treatments, including taking health products and Chinese herbal medicine, which might be an ideal model of beneficial treatment. We know that the first step of developing a new drug is to start from the basic research and laboratory. Whether a Chinese herbal medicine is anti-cancer must be experimented with the advanced laboratory analysis. In another word, Chinese herbal medicine needs to be scientifically examined. THL is a mixture of herbal medicine and its pharmacological mechanism is very clear. I specifically focused on the fast differentiation of cancer cell. However, one of the characteristics of THL is able to interfere the differentiating part of cancer cell DNA.